Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today we're going to be working with water slides and baby elevated glitter. I am going to be working with a sublimated tumbler, which you can use if you want to or if you're in a pinch. Sand down the glossy and you're ready to go. I'm going to paint the tumbler a rusted pink and then we're just going to kind of drizzle on the baby elevated from AB Designs. So once your tumbler is spray painted, we're going to go right into glittering. You'll notice that I kind of start at the bottom and then I move to the top. But as the plan went along, I changed my mind and really wanted to go ahead and glitter the entire tumbler. But I'm really just kind of raining down. My hand is up very, very high up away from the tumbler. And I just decided that I was going to go ahead and sprinkle throughout the entire tumbler instead of just sticking to the top and the bottom. I really love this rustic pink color from Rust-Oleum, so I really didn't want to hide it behind the glitter. I really wanted both of these to shine. So once you've added all the glitter that you want to add, more or less, it's entirely up to you, you really want to make sure that this completely dries before you go in and seal it with a clear seal from Rust-Oleum. Once that's dry, I used my parchment paper to kind of pull down and push down the bits that were sticking up so that when I got ready to epoxy, my tumbler was nice and smooth. Now that everything is nice and dry, we're ready to go in with our first coat of epoxy. For this first coat of epoxy, I am going to be using Facet from Counterculture DIY. Once this fully cures, we can move on to the next step. I really hope you're enjoying this video so far, and if so, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. And don't forget to click the bell to get notifications. Now that our tumbler is fully cured, we're ready to go in with our water slide. I found this image off of Etsy and I will be sure to have the link down for you below. I want to mention that I show this in real time so that you guys can see never, ever, ever, never, ever. <laughs> Do you want to cut your water slides before you seal them? Um, I'm showing this so that lessons can be learned and this is the whole point of teaching and I really want to show you guys that I did cut this before I sealed it. I knew better but I did it anyways. So I'm going to show you that it will come off its backing but it's difficult and it does take a little bit of patience. So once again, I'm going to follow through with this tutorial because I really think it's important for you guys to understand that it's super important to go ahead and seal these before you cut them. Um, I did spray this three times with the Clear Seal Rust-Oleum and then I did one coat of the Plasti Dip. I'm honestly very happy that I did do the Plasti, the Plasti Dip, otherwise I probably would have ended up ruining this image. So the Plasti Dip, I want you to understand as I place this on, and you can watch the bits of difficulty that I had, um, but it allows the image to, or the paper, essentially the water slide to stretch. You have a little bit more play time than if you didn't use it, if that makes sense. But you can clearly see that I am struggling to get it off its backing. And again, I think it's because at the end of the day, if you cut it before you seal it, you're essentially like sealing in those edges. Um, and that's where it really struggles to get off the backing, if you will. So I had a lot of wrinkles um, that I did need to tweak out and get them fixed. And um, I followed through and the tumbler ended up absolutely gorgeous. But again, it probably took me... I don't know, three to four, maybe five minutes to really get it the way that it was intended to be. I would like to take a second and give out a huge thank you and shout out to both Melanie and Ashley for being the first two to join my YouTube membership program. I would also like to take this opportunity to give out a huge shout out and big thanks to both Sarah and Michelle for being the first two Patreon supporters. If you would be interested and would like to join, please click on the links down below in the description and see which perks and subscriptions would work best for you. I want to thank you all so very much, and I cannot wait to see what this new year is going to bring us all.
So I do speed things up here just a little bit simply because for the most part I have everything tweaked out and everything's lined up here, laid on here the way that it should be. So I'm pretty happy with it now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab my paper towel. If you are not comfortable with a paper towel, you can absolutely use a coffee filter. Use whatever you're most comfortable with. And here I'm just basically going to start drying it up a little bit so it will stop moving. Once you have your water slide placed and it's completely dry, and because this was a large one, I believe I let this sit for about an hour before going in with a coat of epoxy. So once our tumbler was dry, we were then ready to go ahead with another coat of epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I am using Facet from Counterculture DIY. This tumbler only took one more final coat and she was completed. I want to thank you so much for watching and be sure to find me on TikTok under Rebecca Escott, Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials for continued learning. Remember, all the links will be down in the description for you below. And always make sure you use your key torch to pop any of the bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. And once again, thank you so much, Melanie, Ashley, Michelle, and Sarah for joining my memberships.